As only Hudson County TV reported, former Union City Deputy Chief of Police Joseph Blaylor sued the city daycare at 219 47th Street back in January. Blaylor, through his attorney, Walter Lores, alleged that all daycare records should be public record due to the large amount of federal funding they receive. Blaylor ended up winning the case and spoke to 8CTV about it on Wednesday. The lawsuit against the Union City Daycare, which is run by Katia Stack, Brian Stack's ex-wife. And prior to my lawsuit, the daycare was uh, listed as a not-for-profit agency, and they did not have to release any public information to the public. Uh, we filed a motion in Superior Court, and the judge agreed with my argument that the Union City Daycare is, in fact, a public agency, and they do, they do fall into OPRA, and therefore they have to disclose public records to the public. Um, since the decision has come out, I filed uh, numerous OPRA requests with the daycare, and they have abided by the decision. They have given me the public records. I think this is good for the community, because now people who want to get their children in daycare and have not been successful, they have a right now to file requests to find out what the process is, find out how much the fees are, and find out where they stand on the list. So I would encourage all Union City residents with kids to now file open requests with the daycare to find out exactly how the daycare operates and what the procedures are to get into the daycare. And do you believe that there's a larger implication here as to why they weren't susceptible to Oprah until now? I don't believe there's a larger implication. I just believe that that's the way it's always, it, well, I shouldn't say it's always been. Because at one time, Union City Daycare did fall into Oprah. For some reason, they changed it. Um, obviously, I believe they changed it because they don't want the public to know how the money's being spent. Like, for example, the daycare has 540 students, I believe, and they have 205 employees. Uh, I don't think they really want the public to understand how many people are working there. Uh, to me, I mean, I believe that's a little high. You have 540 students and you got 205 employees. I would encourage the public, though, if they're interested, that they should file open request against the daycare and find this information out. Because again, this, the daycare is being funded by the taxpayers. It's not a private entity. It's being funded by the Union City taxpayers, the state of New Jersey, and the federal government. Rod Dario, the attorney who represented the daycare with the lawsuit, called the case a waste of time and money for his, Blatler's, political aspirations. Blaitler was quick to respond, saying that, Sounds like Mr. Dario is a sore loser, and if he's so interested in the taxpayer's money, he should stop billing the Union City Daycare for the work he does for them. I'm John Hytus, Hudson County TV, Union City.